Mr. Heffern here, and here's a short video on waves. Uh, here's the symbol for waves, or wavelength, lambda. Uh, and there's two main kinds of waves. you got your transverse waves, and you got your longitudinal waves. Okay, so waves, what are they? Well, first of all, they are moving energy disturbances. Waves are not the transmission of matter, but they are the transmission of an energy disturbance, which temporarily displaces the matter. So an example of matter transmission would be a moving car. It's got kinetic energy. Uh, so the molecules of the car go from one place to another. That's transmission of matter. Where um, kinetic energy as a disturbance would be like sound waves. So the speaker here makes some sound energy. It travels through the air, compressing or stretching the air molecules apart, propagating through the air until it runs all the way to the ear. But it's important to note the molecules here by the speaker do not travel through the, through the air to the ear. They actually stay in the same place. They just go back and forth, back and forth in the same area. So that's the difference between transmission of matter and just an energy disturbance. So there are different kinds of waves. Uh, we got mechanical water waves, um, which is caused by an oscillating source such as wind landslide or an underwater volcano, which may actually cause a tsunami. Um, it's the kinetic energy of colliding water molecules that keep running into each other and moving, propagating the energy through, and the main medium, of course, being water. So all waves do have to have uh, an oscillating energy source and a medium. Mechanical sounds, in this case here, the uh, speaker or the voice box or the instrument goes back and forth, back and forth quickly, and that kinetic energy is uh, due to collisions or voice, musical instrument, and um, the sound energy collides, it's colliding air molecules or water molecules or solid molecules. And uh, sound can travel through air, water, or through the ground. Um, light or electromagnetic radiation, a uh, good source would be the sun, a light bulb, or some fire. Um, it propagates through as a moving uh, electric or uh, magnetic disturbance, and sometimes we call that uh, photons or quanta. And uh, the nice thing about uh, light is the only thing that actually doesn't need a medium. It can travel through the vacuum of space. But it can also travel through the air, or through water, sometimes through crystals. Then we got another mechanical one, medical, mechanical string. So a person waving a uh, string back and forth. So a moving hand. Uh, so it's the kinetic energy it passes through the strongly bound solid atoms or molecules. And you can do this on a slinky, a rope, or a string. Okay, so there's three main sources of waves. Uh, one's transverse. In this case, uh, for example, a pendulum going back and forth, back and forth, makes a wave. The wave energy travels this way down, where uh, the forces are going left and right, or perpendicular to the, uh, to the wave energy. You can do longitudinal. In this case, the oscillations are uh, parallel to the actual waves. So we're going up and down, up and down, and the wave energy travels down. Or you can have torsional, so uh, something twisting around one way and then twisting the other, and that makes a wave. But usually we just focus on the transverse and the longitudinal waves. Okay, so here's an example of a transverse wave. Uh, so for example, uh, when I was in a public pool recently, I had a flutter board, and I was going up and down, up and down with the board. Uh, and unfortunately, people didn't like that too much. And um, what happens is you can see as the force is going up and down, but the waves are traveling perpendicular across the pool. And uh, so here the force is perpendicular to the velocity vector, wavelength. So the wavelength is the distance from a crest to a crest, or from a trough to a trough, or from the middle of the start of the wave to the end of the middle of the wave right there. Okay. Uh, the amount that it goes up, the height of the crest, is called an amplitude, A. And also the depth of the trough is also known uh, as an amplitude. So a wave has two amplitudes, one up and one down. And uh, amplitude is directly dependent on the intensity of the wave energy. So in this diagram here, we got five waves. We got one, two, three, four, and five waves. And you notice what happens to the fish. So the fish uh, used to be down here. As the wave runs into it, it gets moved up. And then it'll come back down. So the molecules of the fish are temporarily displaced. They're not transmitted anywhere. Okay. Okay, so we got our crest and we got our trough right there. Okay. So remember, don't do this in a pool too much. Uh, people get upset. Longitudinal waves. 
So this is an oscillation where, uh, for example, if you were in the pool and you had the flutter board and you went forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, that would cause a longitudinal um, disruption, kind of like you're using your voice, does so the same thing with air molecules. So in this case here, the fish would get pushed one way and then come back, pushed one way and then come back. So here the force is parallel to the velocity vector. And the wavelength would be from one compression to another compression, or from one rare fraction to another rare fraction. So when a compression occurs, um, there's high pressure and high density of the molecules. And when you have a rare fraction, like over here, the uh, molecules are spread apart or stretched out. So you got low pressure and low density. So here we got uh, one compression, one rare fraction, compression, rare fraction, compression, rare fraction, and a compression. So altogether, this diagram has three and a half waves. And longitudinal waves are sometimes called pressure waves since they have changes in pressure. So in summary, waves are moving energy disturbances. Matter is not transmitted and is only temporarily displaced. The two most common waves are transverse and longitudinal. Some examples of transverse waves include string vibrations like this, water waves, and electromagnetic waves. We have fluctuating uh, positives and negatives, north and south. Okay. Examples of longitudinal waves are sound, like speaker to uh, ear, seismic, like from an earthquake or a volcanic eruption, and uh, plasma waves. So for example, uh, here's some plasma moving through, uh, through a device. There you go. So I hope that helps with your uh, understanding what a wave is.